In this video, I will compare Spark email versus Superhuman and tell you which of these email inbox tools may be best for you and your needs. Now right away, Spark email has a free plan available. As you can see right here, free access, while Superhuman only has paid plans. So is it worth the money or is it just better to get the free plan for Spark and if you want to upgrade later, then upgrade since it's also a lot cheaper compared to the pricing of Superhuman, which starts at $30 per user per month compared to 5 euros 83 per month so that's what i'll explore in this video by comparing their features and just overall tell you which one i think is best so first what does spark email offer so the main premise of using spark email is that you will save time with your inbox so it will have features like showing you the best time to look at your inbox you have this kind of dashboard where you can see the newest emails you can see you've gotten three emails from people, 12 newsletters and notifications. So it will basically split up the emails from actual people, the newsletters and notifications from social media and stuff like that. And it also uses AI. So it's an AI email writing assistant. Now here in the all features page, you can see everything it does. So they will help you reclaim your focus with a smart inbox. They have a unified inbox for multiple email accounts. You have smart search, which helps you filter email using natural language search. Newsletter and notifications, so it bundles non-priority emails into separate folders. And you have push notifications, so you can manage emails from your home screen. Then they also work as a gatekeeper, so you can accept or block incoming email accounts. You can set priority senders, so highlights priority senders for quick identification. And you can group emails by sender, so bundle emails from preferred senders for easy access. Now they have some more features, and you can see those in the pricing page which we will get into in a minute. But first, the superhuman features. You can see it's mainly created for teams and currently it saves teams over 15 million hours every single year, which is a pretty big claim. Now it's built for teams that use Gmail or Outlook and they also have an AI, so you can write entire emails with just one line. And this is a feature that is now also in Spark, although that is very limited in the free plan there. Now you can also respond faster to what matters most, so automatically. Now you can also follow up on time every time, so you can set reminders to follow up on emails. You can share and comment with your team, and then you can type less and accelerate your team. Now what I think is that Superhuman excels at team collaboration, and that Superhuman is better than Spark if you are working in a team. Now, in terms of if you are an individual or if you're looking for a free option, then Spark email is better. So the free option, of course, is free, but you won't have access to many features. It will just be a pretty simple inbox, but it will still be a little bit more advanced than Gmail or Outlook. Then the premium individual right here is five euros and 83 cents per month when you bill annually. So that's about 70 euros per year. Then the premium teams is for collaboration. And this is 83.88 per year. And this is per user. Now I wouldn't use Spark email for teams unless you're looking for the more budget friendly option. But I think for teams, Superhuman is better, but it is also a lot more expensive. You can see the starter plan is for individuals and teams that want to save time. Now this one is already $25 per user per month. So every single user will cost $300. But the business plan here is for individuals and teams that want to be the absolute best at what they do. This one will cost $396 per year per user. Now you will have HubSpot and Salesforce integrations and you can use it for sales. And then the enterprise plan is for larger teams with custom pricing. So it is clear that Superhuman is a lot more expensive than Spark email, but for teams, I think it is better. So just figure out if that is worth it for you because the Spark premium teams plan is also good for collaborating. It's just that with Superhuman, with the integrations, it is a little bit better and only for teams in my opinion. So first of all, if you're an individual, I would definitely go with Spark, whether you want to use the free plan or any of the paid plans. But if you are a team and you are looking for the more affordable option, then also go with Spark. And if you're a team and you're looking for the best option, then go with Superhuman. So that concludes this comparison of the Spark mail app versus Superhuman. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.